Sadly, we seem to be living in an age where nuclear war is looking more like a possibility. And with Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer having been released this year, which looked at the impact of the creation of the atomic bomb has had on the world, Christopher Nolan's brother, Jonathan Nolan, is also delving into the world of nuclear war. Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy were working on the Westworld series, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Well, at least the first two seasons I enjoyed a lot. But the show failed to get a fifth and final season because of poor ratings from HBO. Though despite that, it appeared Nolan and Joy were working on another TV series to bring to life, and that was an adaptation of the Fallout video game series for Amazon Video. Before we got our first trailer for the Fallout series, I was a little disappointed by what they had released. They had released a few stills from the trailer, and if I'm honest, I felt the show looked quite cheap and poorly made. It just looked like some fan cosplay rather than a big budget television series and considering how visually gripping Westworld was I was a little disappointed with this however now the trailer has been released that has been put to rest whilst I still don't think it looks as good as what we got in Westworld and that might be because they haven't finished the special effects and the visual effects on the series I am certainly more hopeful about Fallout after watching the trailer the premise of the trailer reads as follows Based on one of the greatest video game series of all time, Fallout is the story of haves and have-nots in a world in which there's almost nothing left to have. 200 years after the apocalypse, the gentle denizens of luxury Fallout shelters are forced to return to the irradiated hellscape their ancestors left behind, and are shocked to discover an incredibly complex, gleefully weird and highly violent universe waiting for them. I'm not actually too big into the Fallout series overall. The last game I did play was Fallout 4, and I did enjoy it to some extent, but I was more a fan of Bethesda's other video game property, The Elder Scrolls. But despite this, I had a positive experience playing Fallout 4, though I didn't complete the entire game, and I think the world that's created in that game universe is very interesting and worth exploring in a different medium like a television series. Now the trailer doesn't give too much away as to the plot of the series, though if you've played the video game you understand the premise of people leaving the vault and rejoining a apocalyptic society. And we are introduced to four characters in the trailer in particular. We have Ella Purnell who plays a character called Lucy and is described as an optimistic vault dweller with an all-American can-do spirit. Her peaceful and idealistic nature is tested when people harm her loved ones. We have Aaron Motten, who plays a character called Maximus, who's described as a young soldier hides his tragic past as he serves in a militaristic faction called Brotherhood of Steel. He believes in the nobility of the Brotherhood's mission to bring law and order to the wasteland, and will do anything to further their goals. Then we have Walton Goggins playing the ghoul, and he's described as the ghoul survives the wasteland as a bounty hunter. He is pragmatic, ruthless, and hides a mysterious past. And then we have Carl McLachlan playing Overseer Hank. Hank is the overseer of Vault 33 and Lucy's father. He is eager to change the world for the better. Now, the fact that we have these four characters makes me believe this is going to be told in the same sort of style as what we got in Westworld where we followed several different characters and have their stories converged with one another. And I think that will work really well in terms of telling or even adapting a video game story onto a TV screen. If you had one sole protagonist who is expected to carry the whole show and the whole perspective of the world is seen through their eyes, it might come across as ungenuine and just seem a bit dull. But getting different characters' perspectives who have different roles in this new apocalyptic world will be an interesting take to see play out in the series. Whereas the trailer doesn't give us much indication to the plot other than what we got in the description, we do see that Ella Parnell's Lucy is going to be setting out from the vault and a bit of the lore behind Vault Tech, the company that built these vaults to secure the population in case of a nuclear war, was that they were going to run a lot of experiments and tests on people in order to see how they'll cope in certain conditions in order to make a better world. 
and in the law of the Fallout universe, rather than electricity being the main source of energy, the power of the atom is really pushed and that's what powers the whole society and because of that that eventually leads to nuclear armageddon 200 years before this is set and then the survivors are going to have to come out of the vaults after being kept there for generations either to breed and produce a future generations to repopulate the world but i do believe in the fallout game fallout 4 you are frozen in a chamber so you can go and live your life in the future when the world is de-irradiated, I suppose. But obviously not everyone will have got into a fallout shelter or these vaults built by vault and then we see characters like Walton Goggins the Ghoul, who's had his face and all the skin has melted off because of the radiation. And the fact that this world does exist and there is some form of law and order and government, but it's an interesting take on how society would function after an apocalypse. I do like a lot of the shots throughout the trailer, seeing the wasteland just be irradiated, and the shot where the character of Lucy comes out of the vault is straight out of the video game, and the power armour we see from the Brotherhood of Steel is straight out of the video game too, and they've adapted that well to appear on television. I did think, as I said earlier, with the stills that got released i thought it looked a bit cheap but in motion i think and the trailer just seeing it it put to rest some of my concerns about this series looking cheap you know it's still not perfect but it doesn't look as bad as i originally had thought what is missing from the trailer is the bigger cities that have survived the nuclear fallout and have been rebuilt i think if you look at something like fallout new vegas or seeing the towns in the commonwealth which featured in Fallout 4 or something like Diamond City which was in Fallout 4. At this moment in time I'm not sure where Vault 33 is located in the United States. There's said to be 101 vaults across the United States and each of them had different experiments going on or there were control groups to just keep the population in those vaults alive. But considering this is the desert, I feel like this is going to be more towards the west coast of America, maybe California or Nevada, rather than the Commonwealth we get to see, which is New England, Massachusetts area in Fallout 4. I could be wrong, though. The fact that we do see desert it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be sort of the west coast area, because after a nuclear war, a lot of the plant life could be irradiated, and that just creates a desert of the land. Another thing the trailer shows off is some of the evolution of mutated animals. We do get to see a bear that's had its skin and fur sort of burnt by the levels of radiation in the world and we do get to see a mutated plant which looks quite terrifying and it reminds me of Audrey 2 from The Little Shop of Horrors. And we do get to see the large cockroaches that are in the video games that they are just like the size of a dog rather than being little insects. At one point in the trailer we do see the Alsatian dog rip apart a large cockroach and that's something I expected from the series as it appears to be something you can do in the video games. I remember in Fallout 4 you did have a dog companion, I can't remember his name though, and who doesn't love a dog in a TV series am I right? I do also wonder if this is successful that Todd Howard and Bethesda may look at adapting more of their video game properties into television series or movies. It seems to have worked with Naughty Dog and especially The Last of Us on HBO as they've adapted that and that seems to have gone down very well. They did an adaptation of Uncharted which was very unfaithful to the source material and that seems to be less light than what they did with The Last of Us. And if this works out, we could end up getting a Skyrim TV series, which is something I would really like to see. And the fact that I have enjoyed what Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy did with Westworld in the first two seasons especially, I do have high hopes that this could be an entertaining and gripping TV series. And I imagine if I do really enjoy this series, I will jump back into the video games, which I haven't played for quite some time. And so far, this is going to be released on April 12th of 2024. 
I do want to hear your thoughts on the Fallout trailer and whether you're a fan of the video game series and you, if you think that it can be adapted well into a television series. So let me know in the comments below. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please make sure to click the bell icon to receive notifications for all of my videos. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in.